Hi, I'm Ann Klauka, the registered dietitian, and today we are at Randazzle Fresh Market in Clinton Township. Now remember, we also have two other locations, one in Warren and one in Macomb, for your local grocery needs. And we want to welcome you today for another edition of Cooking at Randazzo. So today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy breakfast recipe that tastes as good as it looks. It's called Sunny's Fruit and Yogurt Parfait. Now the first thing we're going to start off with is our Almond Dream Almond Yogurt. So as you can see, it's a little bit more watery than regular cow's milk yogurt. Our chia seed, which looks like this, it's a very tiny little seed that it actually absorbs about 12 times its weight in liquid. And next we're going to add our rolled oats. We'll let this sit for a couple of minutes here as we get our fruit ready. We're going to use uh, blueberries today, we're going to use raspberries, as well as mango. So we're just going to go ahead and layer this yogurt and oatmeal and chia mixture. Okay, let's set this aside and make our topping. Now this topping does require a little bit of cooking. Now you can use either a regular pre-made granola as a topping for it, or if you want to really boost the nutritional value, you can make your own. And what we're gonna use today, we're gonna use raw quinoa. And to this, we're gonna add some flax seed. Now, as you can see, this is whole flax seed. Rather have it ground versus using it whole. So I'm gonna grind it in my coffee grinder. This is a little helpful hint, but otherwise it just passes right through your digestive system and it doesn't do any good. And then we'll add our honey and add one tablespoon. One tablespoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of olive oil. This is a nice alternative to uh, regular granola. So this actually is gonna go in the oven. It's gonna be nice and toasted. Um, when you do this, I want you to preheat your oven to about 350 and we're gonna need a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. Now the parchment paper is gonna help this not burn. So let's layer this uh, quinoa mixture here. And then this is gonna go in the oven for about 25 minutes or so, but every five minutes, make sure you're opening the oven and stirring it. Okay, so our crunchy quinoa topping is in the oven baking. And I wanted to show you what this can look like if you're making this whole recipe for a family. Um, you can either make it, like I showed you, a single serving, really quick, easy breakfast, especially if you're on the go, if you want to go with this. Now, if you wanted to take that whole recipe and make it for a crowd or your family, um, just get a pretty glass dish. You have to make it pretty because um, there's so many different colors and everything in this. It just looks like a fancy dessert, right? Now, I have some crunchy quinoa topping already made, and I want to show you what it looks like in its finished form. This is the crunchy quinoa topping that we put in the oven. So you just sprinkle this right on the top, Give it a little crunch and make it look really pretty. All right, so there you have it. Whether it's breakfast for one or breakfast for many, we did Sunny's Fruit and Yogurt Parfait. It's just a beautiful, nutritious, healthy breakfast. And when cooking smart, be sure to make Randazzo Fresh Market your place to find the best selection of meats and fresh vegetables in southeastern Michigan. Thank you so much. My name is Ann Klauka, the registered dietitian, and this is Cooking with Randazzo. I will see you next time.